There we go. That one got it. That's what the old wobble plug does. That's what the old wobble plug catches. That's the one I like. Hey, that's a good one to catch. I don't care where you are. Got a little secret though. Gonna have to stay tuned to watch it. Little wobble. Multiple ways to fish this bait. It's not just a big crankbait. It's not just the bait that thumps and wobbles around. A lot of, a lot of systems to this. Learn these four systems when you watch this vlog. Hey, wobble plug, good way to catch big ones. He's just barely got it. He's just barely nipped it. Oh, wobble plug. I love a good wobble. He's coming right at you. He's just swimming. He's not a big one, but he just, just, just nipped it. Now we got him hooked. He turned, we got him, we got him double hooked now. Oh, wobble plug, 4.0. He's down here and get this little fella right there. All right. That's a good way to get started. This is a bait in which crankbait fishing evolved from, in my opinion. An old big square bill bait that's got a very hard action to it, big side to side wobble that I can do some other things with. You can see that one ran up there and poked it pretty good. But we're gonna call this the wobble plug log. Here we are, we're back out here on Lake X, just a great place to teach and learn and show different techniques. And we're right here in a pivotal time period, getting out of winter, getting into this spawn, got some fish that are trying to get up, weather's been on and off. These fish are moving forward and we're cranking for them because we're, we're looking for both fish. We're looking for those fish that are trying to set up and those that are just behind them. And hey, this big old wobble plug, you can see it moving right there in the water like that. This wobble plug is one of my favorites. This style of bait doesn't get fished near as much as it used to, just because we have so many choices. But this 4.0, you can see how big that is. That is a big size bait. Pre-spawn fish are ready to eat. They're ready to get something big. And then those that are up on the bed, they're guarding against things like that. Big bluegill, big panfish. So we're gonna get a two for one with the big wobble plug. Hey, that 4.0, you get them. I can fish it like a regular plug and just wind it. It has so much buoyancy about it, I can jerk it and twitch it, which gets a real erratic, almost a jerk bait like deal. And then when I come by a piece of cover, I can twitch that rod tip and get this type of action going. And it basically stays right in place in that strike zone to aggravate that fish that may be just eyeballing it that doesn't really want to run, us, run up there and eat it. So lots to do. You'll see me twitch that rod just like that with the wobble and this 4.0, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a perfectly counterbalanced bait. It is a perfectly action bait for what we're trying to do in this water right now. This, this in between the fish really moving forward and the fish that are starting to trickle towards the bank. Got two big logs coming up here. That one thumped it. Got a little too much wobble in it for him. He's hot, that's for sure. The line just singing. You can see the way he's hooked. He came up and just punched it with his nose. Come here, big one. Come here, dog, you got it. There we go. A wobble. Love a good wobble. It's just a presentation that I use a lot. It provokes a good hard strike most of the time. That one had plenty of steam on him too. A wobble just up there wobbling. I was, I felt was poink. Just ran up there and punched it with his nose, a little buck bass but a good one. 
in this in this spawn and pre-spawn time period, that's what this wobbler is doing. It's it's just getting around that fish's area in which he's wanting to, to guard his bed, where he's getting ready to bed, and, it, and it's that bluegill profile. It's you know the, the plug itself is a pretty darn big plug. That's a pretty pretty good sized plug. The 4.0 is, but it's the buoyancy that really makes this thing shine and allows me to keep it right in the circumference of that area that that fish is trying to guard. So what actually happened on that fish is he ran up there and he just popped it with his nose and the big gamakatsu hook brought him all the way to us. It's, it's a unique way to fish a square bill bait or any kind of big wobbling plug. Uh, I love just to wind a wobbling plug when I can because it throws such good vibration, but this gives me the best of both worlds. There we go. There we go. He's got the whole thing in his hand. That's what he's got. Now you're gonna see how this one came up and got it. He came up and broad swiped it. Think that one got it? He came up. That's what the old wobble plug does. It puts that big profile out there and that fish comes out there and he just could not stand. He sideswiped that one. Come here, big one. You're not going anywhere. I can get my hands on you without getting a big old hook in my hand. Gotcha. That's what the old wobble plug catches. That's the one I like. That's the way you want them to get any kind of plug. When they got a broadside like that, you know he was looking right at it. Now, I'm guessing that this fish is probably a bed fish. See how tattered that tail is? It's probably a female that was sitting out just a hint deeper. And when I twitched that in her zone, she came up to protect that bed. That's her job is to be out there protecting that bed. So the buck may still be on that bed, but we're gonna make that same cast any way it goes. All right, oh, that's a good one. Get off that AFCO glove. This 4.0, beautiful shape body, big, and I like that. It's also got the um, false eye on it. That's the target that the fish is hitting. But I get so many slashing bites. Check out my hooks. I have beefed up my hooks. This is a number two in the front, and this is a one-aught gamakatsu in the back. I want that bigger hook back there. I get a lot of slashing bites with this bait, or I get a lot of those that come and get it sideways. I want that bigger hook. So that out of balance hook style, A, they won't hook themselves up very often, and B, this bigger hook in the back gives me the opportunity to catch that fish that's a slashing fish like a jerkbait bite. There we go. That one drilled it. I twitched it one time and boy, he was on it. This one's got it. He's wearing it just the way you want him to wear it too. Get there, get out. He's got a tattoo or two on him too, doesn't he? All right, all right, don't, just stay calm. Just stay calm, little female fish right there. Gotcha. Again, drilled it sideways. That's the way you want them to get it. Either swallow it or hit it sideways and those big hooks do their job. Nice little fish right there. Little fatty, look at that belly. Getting ready to explode. That's a chunk. I'd love to have one of those in any tournament I'm in. There we go. Oh, that's a goodie. That one's a good one. Stay pegged, baby. Come around. Oh, I hate it when they get up there in water like that. That old big hook got this one. That old big hook right in the chin. She's not hooked real well, but that one hook's got her pinned pretty good in the bottom of the lip. Don't you do that. All right, I'm done fooling with you. She just came up and nipped it. Look at that old big fish right there. Got you. Got you. 
See what that one odd hook's good for? Right there, just got one hook in her. That is what that big hook is for. See, that's definitely a spawn of fish. Look how red her tail is, her belly, all of the side of her face. That's a fish that was guarding her area and the old wobble got too close to her, the old 4.0. Old big plug, need a pretty big rod to throw it. I'm actually using the 6XD series of cranking rods to throw with for distance. I'm trying to cover as much water as I can. Big weight plug, a lot of mass, it loads, it throws real well. But we've got that slashing bite, remember. Got those fish that are coming up slashing at it. So I need a cranking style rod that gets in that parabolic bend, creating that big C when I'm fighting the fish so they don't get any slack to get them in the boat. 6.2 to one gear ratio with a BB1 Pro, 15 pound Seaguar line. And then again, the mix match on the size hook. The big hook in the back is a one-aught Gamakatsu round bend, and the one up front is a standard two-aught that I use on just about every big plug I throw. Or it's not two-aught, a number two, excuse me, I'm sorry. Use a relatively heavy line, 15 pound Seaguar and Vizex. I make that long throw, but the big rod allows me control of the bait even when it's between the surface and the bottom. Most time we're cranking, we're cranking like this. We've got the bait moving. But here I've got it in limbo, between the surface and the bottom, making it do all kinds of things. I need the ability to reach out there and set the hook when the fish hits the bait. That last fish just had one hook in it. That's what the big rod's for. Now, lots of times in the spring, Folks are going down the bank throwing a jerk bait, which is a great way to catch fish. That long, minna shaped look, good flash, good movement. But when they get a little more interested in rubbing bellies and making, making babies, this different profile, this 4.0, looks more like a bluegill profile. And doggone it, they just can't stand it when you get it around, particularly those females. Um, sometimes this will intimidate that smaller male and he'll he won't flare up on it, but she'll she'll gobble it real quick. That one came up and boiled on it right there. That one almost hit like a topwater bait. Hook funny, he just can't even move with those big hooks on him. Get up here. All right, that little chub, chublet. It's up there trying to spawn. KVD pliers out here and get this out of him. There we go. Oh, fatty. Just a ch little chunky fella right there. That just shows the versatility of this bait. That one, I actually made the cast. It hit the water. I twitched it once. It almost hit it like a topwater bait. So I had mentioned earlier about the straight wobble, just the basic reel, wobbling it around, making that old plug just side to side. Most of the good fish that I've caught down that stretch right there was on a twitch. Throwing the plug out there, getting it down, twitching it a little bit, just like it, almost making it like a jerk bait, giving it, giving it that search. Those good ones got it like that. And then when I got around a piece of cover, I will literally just give it a twitch, a twitch, a twitch, a twitch, a twitch, just like that, and keep that bait hovering over that piece of cover. And then again, the top water. So you've got four ways. You've got the top water presentation where you make a cast, let it sit. You can twitch it just like a top water bait, just like that. The straight wobble, the wobble with a twitch, and then when you get it around a piece of cover, the hover, where you're just twitching it, just tapping that bait, keeping it moving forward just slowly, but it's making that bait stay in one place. So it's a, it's a grand slam. Four good ways to fish this bait. Oh, that one hit it good, didn't it? I saw that one on active target. I was looking at him out there and he is just wearing it just right. Look at that. Just gives you a lot more confidence with that old big hook on there that you're gonna land more fish that way. He's got that bait in there, or rather she does, and both hooks have got her 
in good shape. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. That old big hook just slows the whole process down of them getting off. Fish getting ready to spawn or trying to spawn. Like that old big hook, especially with treble hooks. No flex, no bend, straight contact with the fish. He's caught. A wobble plug. It's one you need to add to your arsenal. If you enjoyed this vlog, give us a like, please, and enter the gear giveaway. We've got plenty of Strike King and loose stuff to give away this time. Thanks for watching. That's another one right there, going right back to where she got caught from.